The most popular mullet style right now is the modern mullet. And I'm gonna walk you through a few different ways to style it or what to look for in the modern mullet so that you can be rocking the best one. All right, let's pull up my desktop here. Modern mullet. So I've rocked this style quite a bit. You can see uh, the modern mullet is actually a nice tasteful mullet in my opinion. It's not out of proportion. It's relatively short. It's almost a blend between a mohawk and a mullet. So maybe you could call it like a mo uh, it. I don't know. How do you combine those things? You'll see here you get a little bit of wave or curl is great. It adds a little bit of texture. The hair up top here is not too long. And I've rocked this in like various looks. So you can see that same day, same photo, same haircut, how it looks from behind here. Pairs very nicely with the beard. This version is a little bit tighter. You can see between the two, the disconnect is more blended here. So this hairstyle is actually more close to a mohawk than it is a mullet um, compared to here where you have a little more hair on the side and it's a little more of a disconnect between your fade on the side and the top and the back. Um, here again, kind of that similar haircut, nice blend, just slight iterations give you slightly different look and feel. The thing with the modern mullet is you can also grow it out slightly. When you grow it out slightly, you'll get a little bit more of that trailer trash vibe that I think a lot of mullet wearers dig and vibe. So don't be afraid uh, to grow it out. You know, maybe go a day or two in between washes to get that really nice nappy look. The other thing is pairing it with a mustache or a short beard. That also completely changes the look between the mullet where this is a little more refined and sophisticated, but when we go back to the mustache, it's looking a little bit nappy, just the way a mullet should be. Now I want you guys to stick around for the fourth style of mullet because I think you guys are actually gonna hate it, but I think it's kinda cool. The second style of mullet is gonna be your Wall Street mullet. Think about your classic 80s Wall Street guy. So uh, what is that movie, Jason Bateman? Uh, An American Psycho is a great example, or any of those uh, Wall Street style movies back in the 80s. Um, who is it? Douglas? Kurt Douglas, I would like to think, is in some of those movies. Classic styled 80s hairstyle. I've also rocked that look here. You can see it's going to be side part, slicked back a little bit, a little bit longer, um, but it's still going to be very tasteful. Uh, it's not going to be a very abrupt mullet, just kind of flowing uh, on the side to the back. Basically, it's gonna be a modern mullet that's been grown out a little bit, and of course, uh, kept up clean on the neck. And uh, here you can see, I've rocked it with a tie and suit, and it does really give that kind of like Wall Street vibe to it. I think the type of people who see this style of mullet actually aren't gonna think of it as a mullet because your, your sides are so, you know, like a little bit longer, they're a little bit, nicer blended to the back. The back is a little bit longer, but it just kind of has this retro classic, you know, warm and comforting vibe for anyone who is around in the 80s or who grew up with uh, maybe a dad in the 80s as well. Now, the third style of mullet is a continuation of the Wall Street. So we have the modern mullet, which is relatively short. We have the Wall Street mullet, which has started to grow out. I would call it a mid-length mullet. And the third style is going to be the shaggy mullet. Now, this is going to really be balancing between is this a long hairstyle, is this a mullet, is this a shag? It's kind of all of the above. I'm lumping it into the mullet. You can get away with calling it a mullet because basically when you look at this and you'll look at my hairstyle, the top is a little bit shorter than the back. There is that disconnect. In my opinion, I think growing long hair from a mullet is going to be the best looking long hairstyle you can have. I've done it twice. This was done uh, probably what, 2020, 2021. And then this was in 22 where um, the disconnect was even shorter. I want to warn you though, you want to be very aware of the disconnect. Uh, I had done uh, kind of a maintenance trim and I didn't taper it to the right proportions in this style where I think this style 
kind of wasn't the ideal shaggy mullet style where the hair started to become a little too disconnected. The top was a little bit too short. And then that leans it less from the shaggy mullet, like I'm rocking in this photo here or this photo here. And it brings it into the mullet style I'm gonna talk about at the end. In my opinion, these three mullet styles I just talked about are incredible styles. I think you can rock them now. They're safe haircuts. They're not going to disrupt anything. They'll give you a little bit of edge. They're relevant, they're modern, they're also classical. So you're not really going to be pushing the envelope of it. The next style, the skullet, is really going to be pushing the limits of should you rock the mullet or not. So the skullet, if you couldn't guess, is basically for dudes who have lost it up top or who choose to go super short on top and then basically grow all the hair in the back and then fade up the sides. So long in the back, short on the top, short on the sides. That, my friends, is a skullet. You can take it to the extreme lengths and you will have a Ben Franklin hairstyle. I think the messaging for a lot of bald guys is that you only have one option, which is to shave your head or to have like a really short buzz cut all the way around. I think that is untrue. I think if you are losing up top, the skullet is actually a style that I would want you to consider as an option. You'll see here our own Sly rock the skullet, then uh, up top, but also Mahesh has rocked it in a lot of different styles here. Again, he's completely thinning up top, doesn't have a lot to work with, um, but he does grow out a little bit of hair on the edge. Uh, I've got a couple different versions of him here. I think what Mahesh does really well with his skullet is he's tying it together with his wardrobe and his style. He has a well-kept beard. He has cool glasses. He has, you know, accessories. He's got tattoos. All these help uh, add more, in my opinion, help you sell the skullet. I do think the skullet is going to be more of a bold hairstyle. It's going to take a very confident person to be able to rock it. But if you do have that confidence to rock it, I think you can pair it very well. If you want, you can even continue to grow it long like Mahesh did. A lot of times Mahesh was rocking both uh, a beanie or a cap when he was rocking the long hairstyle. So it is an option to be able to have hair uh, even though you're thinning up top. Now the last mullet style is one that I actually don't recommend. It's uh, the bogan mullet. Uh, for anyone in Australia, you know what a bogan is, but in America, it's a redneck essentially. A bogan has been rocking the mullet hairstyle through thick and thin over the past decades. So I feel like it's more of an honor to give it to them rather than the rednecks here in America. Props to the bogans for staying steadfast with their mullets. Basically, how I view a bogan mullet is going to be your Joe Dirt mullet, your redneck mullet. It's going to be totally unproportional. You're going to have extremely long hair in the back. You're going to have potentially extremely short hair up top, short hair on the sides. I pulled this example from Wikipedia of a, uh, they have it listed as a mo modern mullet, but I would not call this a modern mullet. This to me is going to be more of a bogan mullet with this man right here. You see it's pretty short. There's a pretty significant disconnect in the back. I do think this can be an option for the dudes who are, you know, that borderline kind of like punk rocker, you know, F you to the man, kind of like out there, don't really care. Like that's what it's going to say about you in the haircut. I think that's totally cool. If that's your rocking vibe, that's your personality, go with it. But generally speaking, this is not going to be considered a traditionally aesthetic or beautiful hairstyle. I'm sure you know that. That's not the reason you're doing it. Um, but it is big and bold and fun. It's maybe something that you do if you grew your hair out long and then you just want to cut it for a couple of weeks uh, as you cut it down. Think about that. Many years ago, I called the mullet coming back in style. I think it is still very much in style and especially when you have multiple options and multiple different ways to rock a mullet, you can find one that fits into, you know, your comfort level, whether you're super uh, flamboyant or you're more on the conservative side, there's going to be a mullet for you. So don't get discouraged by the name mullet. A lot of people, you know, have a lot of baggage over it because of the more traditional bogan mullet. 
but it's a great hairstyle that can really help you elevate your game. So as you know, at Beard Brand, we are trying to help men love the man looking back at them in the mirror. A killer hairstyle can be one of those things. Don't get intimidated by words and labels and instead seek to try new things, grow new hairstyles and take care of yourself. Because once you start loving the man looking back at you, then you become a better partner, a better spouse, a better steward of the community. And it's through that grassroots effort that we're gonna make the world a better place.